absolutely there's always the opportunity for rigging votes. That's what you see all over the world. I would hope that the way our election commission works here, it's prepared to counter that. But we've all, I mean, don't forget the hanging Chad incidents in 2000, right? Like we're fucked up because our system has different technologies in different states under different rules and different guidelines and different thresholds. So we're not, we're not uh, predictable enough to make it really bulletproof. Uh, so there's always a chance that it could be rigged. But do I think that there's a nationwide um, conspiracy? No, I don't think that would happen. I don't think we have the competence to make that happen. Yeah. Um, Val, real quick, with so much focus on the southern border, why are we losing sight of the northern border? Uh, Canada's immigration laws are really relaxed. Do you believe this has an impact uh, securing the northern border? And do you believe we have sleeper cells operating within the U.S. that are being grossly ignored? Uh, I'll answer the last question first. Absolutely, we have sleeper cells inside the U.S. And I'll tell you why they're being ignored. Sleeper cells are ignored for multiple reasons. First of all, many of those sleeper cells are actually populated by people who have earned their U.S. citizenship. Earned it, um, meaning they have done the paperwork to become U.S. citizens. So now, unless they break a law, they fall under all the protections and rights of an American citizen. That's one of the things that we do that nobody else does in the world. So in order to say, in order to, to take action on a suspected sleeper cell who's led by an American citizen means that we don't put due process first. So we're not going to touch those. The other reason that we don't mess with those sleeper cells is because what we have learned is that you might come over here radicalized, but once you fucking live here, three months, six months, nine months, ooh, all titty this. bar looking good is looking good. Exactly, and McDonald's tastes fucking good. Yep, and yeah. you know what? There's clean water that comes out of the yeah. faucet, and all of a sudden you're like, maybe I'm gonna ignore it when I get that shamrock that tells me <laughs> it's time to take action. Right. Yeah. So we know this. So we can't violate the, the U.S. citizen law. So we can't violate a U.S. citizen because we suspect they might be part of a, a sleeper cell. And we know that it's not a high return on investment. So why spend the taxpayer dollars to fuck with somebody when just letting them make taxpayer, like letting them earn a living and pay taxes yeah. is going to convert them to our way of believing anyways. So I'll answer that question first. But then the northern border security question is a very valid question. I'm actually shocked at how little we talk about it because there are, I mean, there's uprising up uh, there's there's outcries in canada about their immigration challenges and canada's scratching its head why isn't america doing something because they're just going to leave us and travel into the united states through a weak northern border so i would say that i think it was phil uh, val val yeah. val's question is a very valid question and there, there should be more attention on it and there's not a lot of attention on it because what ends up happening with u.s policy and u.s budget is until there's a fire nobody tries to put it out yeah. Right? Yeah.